Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Midnight Suns. It is tipping it down with rain, uh, so we're going to go inside and talk to Tony, but before we do that I thought we'd have a look and see if we can figure out anything about uh, some of the mechanics that we've seen. Uh, for instance, over in our inventory we've been grabbing bits and bobs. There's the masterworks, they can be placed in frames around the abbey. Nice. There's the collections that we've got. So we've got three out of the 12 caretaker's journals and four of the 22 tarot cards. Uh, completing these, I'm assuming, will uh, give us benefits. Uh, and, ah, the water rather than fire what quest items. Right. That's interesting. Haven't got anything in the abilities. We did gain a level with each of our heroes, so I wonder if there's anything we can specifically do. Oh, we can edit the deck. I'm assuming that's going to be like adding cards, removing cards. Nothing on the customization. That's probably going to be for, for different skins and things. We can tab through the different heroes. Look at, look at Blade with double staking. They're actually pretty awesome. I do like that. Doctor Strange is our current BFF. All right, I think we've uh, we've seen all it is to see. Ooh, hang on. There's missions together. There's joint activities. There's gifts given. Haven invites. Quest fulfilled. There's a lot of interesting stats you can get for these. Enemies KO'd in a single turn. Okay. It looks like I, I did most of the work. The experience seems to be much the same, but we need more experience to gain a level than they do. Oh, and there's there's extra tips for if you... Uh, if you want to learn how best to utilise them. All right. Let's... Uh, Let's not read any of that in, in huge depth. Hey, Tony. How's it going? Hunter, you look scathed. Yeah, just a little. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chain mail? Uh, it's Stark's actually scale mail. Heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Uh, get where? And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Oh, you've Besides, put us in rooms next to each other. No one should be forced to walk Great. Ways around here alone. Are you scared of this place, Tony? So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. He is scared. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Uh, thanks for the gift. Thanks for the gift, Tony. I think you'll like it. It's a limited edition. A limited edition what? Oh, you'll see. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Poor Tony. Okay, so... Tony's given us a present. Obviously, we're going to look around at everything else before we touch that. Ooh, that is, uh... 
That is quite the family portrait, isn't it? That's obviously the caretaker there. Nice warm fireplace, though. I wonder who keeps that stocked. And a little privacy screen for when you're getting ready. Nice. Right by the door, though, so not exactly convenient. Which way does the door open? It opens directly inwards, so... Hmm. Okay, what's Hi, this? I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. It's a super it link. Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual. Private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing... <laughs> you might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. All right, so Superlink is your connection to the rest of the team, social network just superheroes. Oh my word. So, I guess we're gonna we're gonna be doing social networking as part of this game. This is not what I expected. Uh, let's have a look at Robbie's bit. First post. What do you mean? We had Superlink for months now. We use it every day. I mean, first post that the hunter sees. <laughs> Okay, uh, next up, magic. First we make Wanda leave, now we leave it to die. Actually, that's not the case. She was sent for protection. Let's see how that worked. Fine, so they're not exactly best friends. And this is into our gallery where we've got our one comic. I mean, it's... It's pretty cool. We're going to be uh, getting our own uh, own comic covers. And no personal messages. Okay, now we can explore the room. Oh, disappointing when the game decides it's going to lock things off until we've done other things. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Maybe it is. We were all so happy then. Painted by Sally Owens, oil on canvas. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. Gloss earned for missions can be spent to unlock new cosmetic options for the hunter and heroes, including outfits to wear around the abbey. Okay. Ooh, some of these are just like. That's not terrible. That's a little bit Iron Man. That's a little bit construction worker. Other than the collar. Let's just let's just go with black. There we go. The the collar is a little bit OTT, but uh I guess that's what's uh, keeping us protected. Slash moderated. Slash bound. Slash all those other foreshadowing things. Dark dreams. They're everywhere. We must fall back. To where? Can we advance? No! Hold the line! I can stop her! Only I can stop her! Child! Oh. 
Okay. We have a Charlie. friendly demon doggo. I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. That's fair. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. To cross the universe is the Punisher kind of hero. There's an opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Okay, I guess we're heading to the forge. A new post has been added to the superlink. What's this? The Daily Bugle Repost Bot. All right, hang on, here we go. Swooping in at the last second to save the day, leading away the carnivorous sludge monsters to keep New York City safe. Just gonna say it, the astounding Spider-Man. All right, looks like everyone is is actually on here making posts. So Spider-Man and his amazing friend on these monster upon city. Okay. Well, we'll uh we'll keep an eye on the social network as time goes on. Oh, we can we can pet Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. Oh. That gave us arcane knowledge and gloss. Hang on. Is Charlie one of our heroes? No. But Stark is in there now. Various frames in the Abbey can be interacted with. Paintings can be removed for small gloss costs. Paintings can be removed. You could be placed in empty frames for free. Okay, so once you've set the place up, you can swap things over. I think we'll... We'll not remove anything just yet. Oh, wow. My room isn't, isn't in the barracks. My room is, like, completely separate. We are going to go to the forge, but let's uh, let's have a little wander down into the barracks and just see if any of the rooms are unlocked. If there's anywhere that we can put paintings just yet, it might end up being in people's rooms. Yeah, they're getting their their own rooms now. They're moving in. So where's Strange? Well, maybe he doesn't doesn't have a specific place. Something about the whole alien this credits ah. that explains so much just to encourage you to buy around. some more see what I did there I'm a vampire I see everything and attack essence this is gonna be a fun apocalypse so in the inventory in the resources yeah right Told him no more guns. Distilled magical energy connected to heroes' attack abilities. Okay. So, well, I mean, I'm always going to be looking for right. for freebies now, within the game itself. The up with something for the hunter? I wonder if that means we're going to need to like 
keep exploring everywhere all the time. There's nothing wrong with having a look around, but it's uh, it's not going to be the most entertaining thing to watch if we have to repeatedly keep running around for bits. Was that something in here? No, that was just glow on the... Uh, reflection on the glass. There's some heroic essence. A tapered candle. That's a common gift, probably for strange. Can hear something making whoop 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 whoop, whoop noises. Probably one of Stark's crates. The hunter needs it. There's more essence by the doorway. Or more credits, I should say. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? I like it. Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Hey, that looks new. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. <laughs> Perhaps. You should just try it on. That seems like a reasonable plan. All right, that looks better. Still think I could have used a cloak. All right, it wants us to talk to Tony, but you know me, I'm gonna loot the room. So we'll grab that, check around for anything else that might have appeared since the last time we were in here. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I do not. Oh, I've heard the things you That's not a box. You think no one's listening? And maybe it was this that was making the whoop 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 sound on the other side of the wall. All right, let's uh, let's have a chat with Tony. Tony, what's up, mate? I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Haven't tested it yet. Um. Uh, let's be friendly. Thanks. Appreciate it's the effort. Nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored? But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out what three hundred years before we woke you from your eternal rest. Something like that. I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Uh, you don't seem to like magic much. <laughs> Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. That's fair. At least they did before everything changed. Uh, so, why is your... Best friend a wizard. But you and the doctor seem to work well together. Oh, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. He's not talking to his cape. 
so what's so special about the new suit? I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. Hmm. Sounds impressive, but what does it all mean? So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. That's what I like to hear. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Okay. So, what's your store? In fact, no. Anything See strange? Anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. There's magic cats? Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small. Oh, we're going to have to go looking for the cat. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape shifting monster knowing this place. Uh, what's your story? You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. That's a lot to deal with. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? That's uh, funny because we haven't seen the Skrull yet in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, just remind me what the room is. What sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. We could channel that. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Uh, that sounds amazing. I am impressed with your resourcefulness. From where you're standing, I can see that. Still, I doubt I'll be branding one of these with a Stark Industries logo anytime soon. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hot Yeah, I do. Soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Okay, now we're going to find out about it. So, where there's the anvil. So we can do gamma coil analysis. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it coil for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start <laughs> injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. That seems fair. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Ah, right, okay. So, he can use it to create hero abilities. Only one can be selected, so this is like a unique perk. Uh, well, let's analyze the coil. Yeah, 
You're welcome, Hunter. Do we get all of them? So heal, quick strike, or whip. Well, this is slightly more powerful than no, because we're getting more damage. It's uh, let's get quick strike. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. So we gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If taken to the yard, duplicates can be combined into more powerful versions. That's what I was hoping. But let's check the super link, seeing as a new post was added. My brother Pyotr is constantly texting me, still alive. Yes, keep it up. That was the plan. Now repeat that a million times a day. Don't forget to drink water, he thinks I'm a plant. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy these interactions, I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's get out and find Blade. Hi. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against... I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Um, sure about you. I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Oh, I lost friendship XP with that. Love. <laughs> She didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Uh, let's ask can about ask him, about see you? if we can get that friendship back speed I back. Guess. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. <laughs> Mid twenties. Occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Tell me about your name. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. That is sucky. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. <laughs> what is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. All right. You do not consider. We're gonna have to get there then. Not yet. Don't take it personally. Okay. Uh, let's uh, not just stand around talking the whole time. So it's a shame we lost a little bit of uh, friendship XP with that. But we can go in work. and upgrade an ability. So Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. Ooh, the upgraded one is pretty cool. So if the target has bleed already, it'll do an additional 12 damage. All right then. Let's find out more about this training malarkey. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol, Carol Danvers, but you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding, Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, 
Not so much fish as that ginormous and vulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sand. Yeah, we do need to deal with that. Uh, there has to be a way inside. Good luck has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Exactly how persuasive? Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. Fair enough. Uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Okay. So, we have new missions available. Let's just check, see if we can do anything down here. It doesn't look like we can do any training yet. So, back in we go. Hey, Blade. Don't see any more... Nothing is certain these days, but these Ooh. readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know... Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Hmm. So, I believe the scrolls are part of the Secret Invasion comics, though I haven't read them myself. Let's have a chat. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the Gamma Signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> Hat tip to the gremlins movie. We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. What's well, not to enjoy? Ah. Well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. If only they'd actually zoomed in on the arm properly, like put it in focus rather than blurry. <laughs> I guess we're going out on our next mission. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology. And she kissed me. So back into New York City. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Right, so the heroes have identified an abandoned warehouse where Hydra may be operating. Blade and the Hunter join Captain Marvel to investigate. So we don't get to pick people specifically. Let's just hop on in. 
Yeah, we look a bit more badass than before. Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses. Thank you very much, Magic. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. Ooh, couple of uh, jutters making it difficult to actually turn the camera. Thankfully, they didn't last for too long. Okay, so combat items don't cost anything to use. I'm guessing their uses will be very limited. That wasn't too long, thankfully. Probably can scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Smartest fanatic in the room. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <laughs> need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. I'm with uh, Captain Marvel on this one. Kill them. Explosive barrels, how convenient. I always get there is a lot of them. Crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. All right, we can do a couple of uh, uh, attacks. Starting with a quick slash, I think. We want to make sure we're killing someone. You're a pretty good choice. Hail that. So that gave us the the refund. We can't exactly. Yeah, it's not gonna work the way I wanted. We could do. Potentially knock back off that edge. Or this guy into the explosive, maybe. I'm just looking around to see what other. Mm. What other fun things we have. So of the guys who have health bars, they've all got exactly the same health. Yeah, let's knock him into that and that's going to kill this guy and almost kill him. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. I think you got him. Still got a tiny bit of health left. We could move and then knock him back into another one. Yeah, let's uh, let's come over here. Here. 
Oh, well, it's not going to be far enough. Okay, cancel that. We can still keep moving around. But I don't think we're going to get the the knockback we want. So maybe... Coming behind this guy. Can we knock him off the edge? Hey! That... That worked. Although I... Yeah. It took a moment for it to, to figure it out. Uh, so we still have a card play. We could redraw Photon Beam. We could redraw Heal. Let's redraw Heal. Okay. Chain 2 Strike. That's good. That's going to take out two of these guys. Let's get you and you gone. Not bad. Lilith would be embarrassed by your weakness. A little ding, but it's fine. Loads more things. Tactics modes allow you to quickly assess the entire battlefield. Left shift. I've this never is gonna. Been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? Okay. All damage dealing hero abilities have a chance to become critical when they're drawn. Critical abilities deal increased damage. as determined by their critical chance stat. Okay. So this is a critical one. Yeah, it's not doing much extra damage, but it is doing some. Uh, again, we're going to want to chain two together. So that's reasonable. About time. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Life seal isn't going to be very useful at the moment, but we could come across and do a photon beam on these two. We'll do some damage, not a huge amount. And then we could finish the other one off with a knee strike, maybe. That one's not in, in range over there. So, Captain Marvel, in you come. We're going to put you right here, I think. Line them up. Photon beam. Give him a blast. The taunt we don't care about. Because we're just going to smack him. That looked like it hurt. And that would take one heroism, but yeah, he's just out of range. Just out of range of everything, so we're going to have to finish the turn. Only a tiny bit of damage, though. We should be able to eliminate all three of these. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done with looking out the bad guys. Car play refunded. Uh, we want to do the heal because we are a little bit injured. And then we'll knock these back into each other, I think. I feel more like myself every day. Down you go, guys. You were too weak for this fight. 
Awesome. Very well done. Go, now, quickly. Let's go, go, go. Superhero landing. The perfect Gotta love opportunity it. to field test mother's device. Uh oh. So what's that do, Dad? Are we absorbing the power, or...? Get out. Pretty cool. I appreciate that, Captain Marvel. Do you want to just blast it out? Okay, recovered the artifact, so... You Break the Hydra Shield Guard's protection to access the truck. Use recover artifact card to secure the artifact. Okay. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? So we need to take his uh, feeling confident. block down to zero. Ooh, that's all the way up to... To 27 damage. Okay, we're gonna do quick strike. That's a nice easy uh, easy option. Get something killed. Probably try and knock this guy back into there, get some collateral damage. With one heroism, we could do... We could do this and start applying bleed on things. Like, we could get this guy bleeding down despite his shield. But I think Photon Beam is probably going to be better for us. Let's start with one step ahead. We'll move in. We'll try and photon beam through. Here we go. So Captain Marvel can now go binary. Playing three Captain Marvel cards will draw the go binary ability. In her binary state, she'll deal significantly more damage. Oh, that is a lot. I mean, this does... This does take... Two heroism, but we were talking about knocking this guy back into there. It's about time. So that worked how I was considering it. If we go make him bleed, we've got that will give us more heroism, but I think really we need we need just a regular card at the moment. That's enough to knock out two of those guys. Which will help with our damage output quite a lot. Let's redraw one of the stakes. Quick strike, great. Mine. 
do love the freebie quick strikes. Hey, Blade gets a level up. So we can do another Fist of Radiance. That's going to break this guy's block. He is immune to knockback, though. Still. Let's do it. <laughs> Worth it to get that shield gone. Eighty years of failure, Hydra would throw in the towel already. All right, we're not going to get photon beam for a while. Let's uh, end the turn. She's got a lot of protection while she's binary. That's not supposed to hurt. All right. Blake could do with a bit of healing. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. The enemy area attacks will go for the end of the turn. Use move or an ability to move elsewhere. Or knock enemies into the area of effect. Well, this guy is like... In a terrible place for that. So, maybe we won't do it. Do we have any quick strikes? It doesn't look like it. We can get the artifact back. The life seal that I want for Blade means we're going to need more heroism. Let's uh, redraw this one. No point in having two make and bleeds. Oh. It's costing so much. Let's redraw the photon beam. Okay, that's a quick attack. So that's going to at least get us out of this area. Yeah, we can get in and kill this one. Was that truly your best? So that gives us the whip that we can do. If we recover the artifact first. Hey, defeat the remaining enemies to complete the mission. One thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining hydro forces in your vicinity. Yeah, I agree. Let's uh, try and... Uh, knock the guys back into each other as much as possible. Forceful knockback, we could like really smack this guy over this side if we're lucky. Let's spin it around. Oh, we can actually knock him into it. Great. Your fate is sealed. Whip him all the way back. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That and let's give passed. let's give Cal an additional eleven block. Is there anyone that we want to ensure? Oh, he's going to die at the end of the turn anyway. So I think it's just any one of these. Okay, who's targeting who? He's targeting me, which is fine. He's targeting Blade. Hey, level up for Captain Marvel. Look at how much damage Fist of Radiance does now. Uh, we've got one move left, but I don't think there's really much we're going to be able to do with that. 
Reaper in service. Don't worry, Blade, you're fine. It's just a little bit of damage. And me, I can tank it. To be crystal clear, we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Okay. Shoot this guy. That would get him killed. Yes, sir. How that works I mean it works pretty pretty well I'd say who's got he's got 31 health we can fist of radiance to kill this guy knockback is not gonna be enough to, to it to reach anything else You're a low red mercenary, I mean. And I think we're gonna have to do some redrawing. Okay, another quick slash, that's good. That'll give us a heroism which we could use to then throw bits into other things. Like maybe if we position on the other side and kick this. So let's do a quick slash on you. Standards have fallen a great deal. Well, actually, we could forcefully knock you back into into stuff. You're going to die anyway. Hey, we can knock you into the other guy. You had your oh, though, I love the win. Effective. Very effective. What is this thing? Bad guy crate. Full of bad guy stuff. I love Blade. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one almighty. Something something. Gods and demons. Something so something spooky, dark side. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? Yeah, just drive it back. Don't don't pick it up. And there is our victory. Only two star. Boo. I'm assuming you can finish it faster. Can she survive a Faustian bargain? Still. We did alright. Uh, we got the artifact, whatever that's going to be for. Yeah, you can probably be more efficient with uh, with card usage than than we were, but I'm trying to experiment with stuff and uh, and find out what works. Wow, the load times. <laughs> so, we took the portal back. Now what about the truck? There, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? And you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow. 
out of jail again. Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. Because it's all about building friendship. I should rest another time. All right, and at that, let me see. How did this work again? Uh, Nick has sent us a, a message on the Superlink. Uh, we're not going to read it right now. Uh, we're going to check it at the start of the next episode. We've been going for about an hour, so we're going to finish up there. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise. I'll see you next time for some more Midnight Suns. See you soon.